you can engage us across all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. Engage me at Faith Msoli across all my socials. Uh, by the way, in quarter year of 2020, a study was done by Kenya Health Information Management and it was found that uh, at least 11,000 girls were teenage girls were pregnant uh, in the county and county of Nairobi and Kakamega County came in second and then Machakos came, came in third. So to demystify all these facts we have in studio our guest Tracy Molo. Welcome. Thank you very much. You can introduce yourself, tell us who Tracy is and then our, your social media handles please. Okay, my name is Tracy Molo. I'm a 21-year-old <laughs> girl, passionate <laughs> about women and girl child empowerment. Um, you can get me on my socials at Tracy Molo across all media platforms. Mm -hmm. So I'm a co-founder at the Village of Hope, uh, mm -hmm. a foundation whereby it's basically humanitarian. Mm -hmm. So we talk to widows and orphans yeah, and get to offer them help where we can. Mm -hmm. Then I'm the programs coordinator of She Rise at Young Women Leaders Connect. Mm -hmm. Young Women Leaders Connect basically is an organization, a youth-led organization, mm -hmm. where we like-minded women came together to try and combat all these issues that I can hear you talking about. Okay. Yeah. So what was the motive? What pushed you into starting such an organization? Mm, okay, basically I will say um, mm -hmm. we had women who had gone through the same issues like teenage pregnancies mm -hmm. or women who had people who, ha who, who, were, who had the same experiences. So we decided to come together, put our minds together and try to see what we can do in order to combat all those issues. Okay, so when we talk of teenage pregnancies, uh, it takes two to tango. There is a boy, there is a girl. Yeah. So are you just talking to girls or both? No, you see, when you talk to girls only, mm -hmm. um, the problem is not solved because like you just said, it takes two to tangle. Mm -hmm. So at first, our organization mainly dwelled on ladies and all that. But mm -hmm. with time, we came to realize that we need to talk to the boys also because they are part of what happens. They are part of the teenage pregnancies. So um, we had other men on mm -hmm. board as mentors too. Mm -hmm. So you see, when we go out to the field and talk to such people, when, this, when the boys see other boys coming to talk to them, mm -hmm. they can... They, 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 they understand what's yeah, they happening? Yeah, they understand better what's happening, yeah. All right. So the girls that you talk to, what do they tell you that there are some of the issues that push them to the level of becoming moms when they are just but teens? Mm, most of them, I would say poverty, because mm -hmm. most people feel like um, I come from a background where my parents cannot afford something A, something B. Mm -hmm. So there's a guy out there who's like, ah, if I sleep with you, I can give you this, I can mm -hmm. provide you with this. So they decide, ah, why not? Mm -hmm. Let me go and do this and get money maybe to get my family out of such a situation. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you find that they are pregnant. Mm -hmm. And like we all know, at times you get pregnant and there's no one to take care of you after that. Yeah, so they become teenage... Teenage moms. moms yeah. Exactly. So when we talk of poverty as a, a reason why most girls are getting pregnant when they're still teens, poverty comes in a sense that uh, these girls can't afford even sanitary pads. There are girls who have been bought who have exchanged sanitary pads for sex yeah. and they end up being uh, teenage moms. So do you also give them like sanitary pads? Do you engage them on that? Yeah, as an organization, mm -hmm. YWLC that is, we went to schools, different schools like Ayani Primary mm -hmm. in Kibera mm -hmm. and we had programs or mm -hmm. should I say clubs where mm -hmm. we send in different students so we partner with sanitary companies like always mm -hmm. yeah so when we gather sanitary towels from mm -hmm. the companies and we also donate from our pockets then mm -hmm. yeah we okay. go to the schools and give them out okay and uh, do you do you reach out to schools 
do you reach out to schools and talk to these girls or you wait for them to get pregnant first and then you meet them in their in your organization like do you randomly do it going to schools and talking to teenage girls and boys yeah in maybe let's say in a month we try to go to like three schools and talk to them give them sanitary towels give mm -hmm. them the help that we can in terms of mental health issues reproductive mm -hmm. health giving sanitary towels mm -hmm. life skills yeah it's all around okay speaking of life skills what are some like there are teenage girls who get pregnant they get ashamed of going back to school yeah. so when you talk of life skills what do you do to this girl who is pregnant, shy going back to school as a teen mom? What do you do to them to just improve their future life because they just don't want to go back to school? First of all, we try to reach to the parents or mm -hmm. the caregivers and provide awareness to them mm -hmm. because, you know, most of the people that make these girls ashamed are mm -hmm. part of the society. They are part of their families, their friends. So for them not to feel ashamed, we first of all give awareness to their caregivers, the mm -hmm. ones that we can reach to, and the ones that we cannot reach to, we just talk to the girls, mm -hmm. make them feel at home, make them feel like we are their sisters, mm -hmm. we are their moms, yeah. Do you do vocational training? Yeah, we do vocational training for people who are maybe old in, older to go back to school, mm -hmm. or people who are not willing to go back to school like the normal 844 system, mm -hmm. KCP, yeah. All right. So... Uh, in the recent past, there's been a norm, like uh, the law comes for the boy. Uh, I'm sure you're aware. Yeah, the know. law comes for the boy when the girl gets pregnant. What's your take on that? Personally, I don't know if it may go with <laughs> everyone, but personally, uh, personally, I feel like if you're above 18 or even mm -hmm. below 18, the two have consent. They mm -hmm. gave consent mm -hmm. for them to do whatever they are doing so that they could get pregnant. So mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's really right mm -hmm. for them to come for the boy. Mm -hmm. In as much as girls are fragile and all that, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy, very easy to convince them. But mm -hmm. I feel like both should take accountability for mm -hmm. their actions. Yeah. Exactly. So these girls, uh, as you talk to them and try to engage them on several, several issues like vocational training, some of them accept to go back to school. How do they perform after, after being teen moms and they've gone back to school? Yeah, I'm so happy to say for the few that we've taken back to school, they mm -hmm. have been performing well because we've been going to their school from time to time to check on how they're performing. Mm -hmm. And most of them are performing well. Though okay. there are some still lagging behind, but with time, they'll catch up, yeah. Okay, and so where do they leave their kids? Like, do you mind where they, they leave their kids be before they go back to school? Because they have to be in school full time. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like I said before, for most of them, we talk to their caregivers, mm -hmm. or their parents or their guardians. Yeah. So when it's time for them to go back to school, we go and talk to their families. Mm -hmm. If maybe they can help take care of their kids as they go to school. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, and what of stigma in school? Do you engage the teachers before they go back to school? Yeah, obviously. If someone um, has gotten pregnant mm -hmm. as a teenager, mm -hmm. like we all know, I think, mm -hmm. uh, there's that stigma when you go back to school, everyone is laughing at you. So we try as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If maybe we've gotten hold of the information that the kid is pregnant mm -hmm. and on the students don't know yet, mm -hmm. we try to encourage teachers not to rub it off to other students that there's someone who is pregnant in our school mm -hmm. or all that. So by the time maybe they're coming back to school, very, pu very few people know about it. Mm -hmm. But in the same case, there are people who live in the same environment. So obviously they'll know such and such a person was pregnant. Mm -hmm. So we try to also give awareness mm -hmm. to the teachers mm -hmm. to be able to talk to the students and mm -hmm. tell them that in as much as it happened, mm -hmm. it's okay to still embrace the girl. It's okay to give them a chance to still work on their future. Okay. And uh, when they are in school, this girl has gone back to school. Do you like use them as a, let me say, motivational to others? Like they go around telling others that you can still go back to school even if you are a teenage mom. 
Yeah, why not? Because I feel like mm -hmm. um, even if I was in school and I saw some, maybe I was pregnant mm -hmm. and I'm in class, then someone comes in and they were in the same situation like I am. Mm -hmm. And after like a few years in school, they've made it, they've become a lawyer, mm -hmm. they've become a teacher, they've become whatever they want to be. Mm -hmm. I'd feel motivated enough to work hard to be like them or surpass them in their different capabilities. Okay. And uh, these, they, 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 they have a teenage mom, has a, a son or a daughter. How do you, do you follow up the relationship between the mother, the parents or the guardians back at home to just know if they are doing fine? Following up on the like you know, there is a parent who cannot be so much into the daughter mm -hmm. getting pregnant. Some of them might be chased away. Mm -hmm. So do you like home them? Those who do not have a home after getting pregnant? Because there is just that parent who can take a teenage kid ha being pregnant. Being pregnant yeah. Yes. So okay, as YWLC, mm -hmm. I'm glad to say we have very empathetic people in mm -hmm. our organization. Mm -hmm. So some of them who are very able, mm -hmm. um, they, we've had one case of someone who was able at least, she's working and all that. So there was a girl who was chased away by her parents. Mm -hmm. And this woman in our organization decided to take her in as mm -hmm. her own uh, until the time she finished school. Okay. So in your organization you you provide a chance for them to have another life yeah. even after getting pregnant even after being teenage mothers and so if this teenage mother <laughs> she has this kid but cannot feed the baby so do you even take care of the baby or it's none of your business <laughs> okay why wlc is voluntary mm -hmm. for most people mm -hmm. so most of the time when an issue arises we just come uh, on board as a group we contribute money wherever we can mm -hmm. we call for partnerships yeah and we go and help wherever we can so do you have partners yeah we have a few partners okay and still mm -hmm. open for partnerships yeah okay so you'll find that it in most cases the teenage girl she's pregnant she has no home she's being homed somewhere else and then there are just these sponsors let me say for lack of a better word who takes in this teenage girl out of his desperate situation and then ends up using her again have you encountered such situations before um not at the moment mm -hmm. not but i think if we found ourselves or one of our girl in such a situation mm -hmm. like we say before we take them back to their families and all that there's counseling there's how we talk to them mm -hmm. to to carry themselves about an issue so mm -hmm. when i feel i feel like when they get to certain situations they mm -hmm. are so free to call us any of us in our organization so when the issue mm -hmm. is brought on board, we can discuss and see how we can go about it, yeah. Okay, so when you're talking to these girls about teenage pregnancies, how they can avoid teenage pregnancies, so what do you tell them? Um, first of all, mm -hmm. we really, really, really talk about abstinence mm -hmm. because as a teenage, I feel like it's not right morally mm -hmm. to engage in sexual activities but you know in this generation things mm -hmm. happen yeah people engage in sexual activities so in as much as we talk to them about abstinence we also talk to them about contraception the different types of contraceptives and mm -hmm. how they can use them yeah enable to counter that okay so you follow up on each and every girl teenage pregnant a teenage mom you follow up each and every one of them and know how they are doing even schools that they go yeah like each and every one of them yeah we don't have like so many people that we are okay there are very many how issues. many are they how many are they how many teenage moms do you have in your organization so our organization is based in different counties. So mm -hmm. in different counties, we have mentors there. Mm -hmm. So there are different schools. We deal with schools. Mm -hmm. So in Nairobi, we have like Kibera. Mm -hmm. 
Ayani Primary, mm -hmm. where we offer help in, in terms of education, in terms of mental health and all that. So we have like 15 girls in Ayani. Mm -hmm. um, in Migori, we have like 20 girls. Mm -hmm. yeah, so in different schools, there's a different number of girls, so we divide ourselves. All right. And uh, I saw that you are a tuber. Are you a YouTuber, sorry? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you do on YouTube? Um, uh, my YouTube is mainly on lifestyle. First of all, remind our viewers your YouTube channel. You can find me on my YouTube channel at Tracy Molo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do you do on YouTube? It's mainly lifestyle, mm -hmm. real talk, yeah. Okay, what do you talk in that real talk? <laughs> <laughs> We've just started, but um, I want to focus on maybe motherhood and issues Are you a mother? affecting mothers. Yeah, yeah. Are you a mother? All right. So, lifestyle. So, what do you talk about lifestyle on your YouTube channel? How to live around in this era, mm -hmm. um, ways in which we can... Uh, deal with certain issues in life like depression and all that. Okay, but there's so much competition on YouTube so how do you go around and just make sure that people are sub subscribing to your YouTube channel? First of all, I, I looked for an A-team editing uh, group mm -hmm. in terms of editing, camera work, yeah, so I make sure my work is legit good. All right. So, like uh, the teenage moms, or rather the teenage girls who get pregnant, don't you think that it would be educative if you put such content on your YouTube channel? Yeah, um, I had that plan in place to for my friends that I know who are mothers and maybe the women out there who gave birth and all that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a segment called mm -hmm. Motherhood where I would involve different women mm -hmm. to come and maybe give their life experiences and how they tackle the issues that they had in order to encourage the other ones. Okay, so you said you're talking to boys too yeah. about teenage pregnancy. So what do you tell boys? Okay, we have different things that we talk about, mm -hmm. but mainly mm -hmm. um, we try to ensure that they reduce the rate at which they get into relationships while mm -hmm. still in at their teenage ages because mm -hmm. basically, okay. basically we know that um, when a boy makes a girl pregnant mm -hmm. at teenage, uh, yeah, yeah, Pia, he does not even have enough funds to cater for the kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, most of them even run away. They don't take responsibility. So most of the time, we have so many single parents at mm -hmm. teenage, and you know how, that, how hard that could be, yeah. All right, so I'll give you a chance to remind our viewers where they can find you on social media and then what you do. And then if you want any partnership with any companies on the Teva sponsor, though, you can go ahead and say. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, on our social media platforms, you can find us at Young Women Leaders Connect on Facebook, Young Women Leaders Connect on Instagram, and my personal accounts, Tracy Molo, on all other platforms, and Village of Hope on the same, all other platforms. And as Young Women Leaders Connect and Village of Hope, we are open to partnerships um, in any form. May, could it be mentorship, financial, in any way, we are very open to partnerships. All right. I'm sure you have learned one or two things, just like I have. And uh, they say that a, a, a home without daughters is like a spring without <laughs> a source. Yeah. That is food for thought. So find me on social media at Faith Musoli across all my social media platforms. My name is Faith Musoli. Thank you and goodbye.